Hello Taurus, today we are going to be looking at a relationship energies. We're going to be seeing two different uh, people in a relationship, seeing what's going on with their energy and then look at the joint energy of the relationship as well. And as usual, get spirit guide advice at the end of the reading. This was actually a requested reading by Fire Ice, one of my one of the people who commented below. Um, she's always commenting. She's amazing. Uh, if you also want to have a suggestion, if you have a topic that you'd like me to do a reading on, comment below and let me know, and I will give you a shout out and do the topic as well. Let's have a look into a person's energy. First of all, wow. Taurus, we've got a star card in the reverse position. We've got a two of emotions in the reverse position. Okay, I'm going to tell you straight away, this is in your energy, possibly could be in your person's energy. It depends. You need to swap the energies around if you feel you must because it is a general reading. Okay, before I go any further, I'm just going to say what Spirit Guide was saying. This is definitely a relationship. You've got the Two of Cups energy here. Then you've got the Star card in the reverse position, but there's something going wrong right now. Um, you might be wondering, is this actually what I wanted to have? Um, even though, yes, I think there is love attached here to the two of you with the Two of Cups, but it's in the reverse position. This is what's telling me something is going wrong. Um, there could be something out right now, something that you're not sure about. You may even be wondering, because the star card, you know, when you meet somebody, they're your star. You know, uh, you fall in love with a person, they're perfect for you. And it's just the perfect thing in the whole world. And you're like, this is my person. I've fallen in love. I found my soulmate. Now, this is where the real stuff starts coming in. After six months down the line, after one year down the line, or even six years down the line, we start to wonder to ourselves, is this really what I wanted? And this is the kind of energy that I'm picking up on here. There may be certain things that you've seen about this person that makes you go, is this really really what I've wanted in my life. Wow, there's a doubt here now. I don't know if I should be doing this. Let's check in your person's energy. They got the same kind of vibe. Look at that. They got the Four of Cups energy. Let's see what else is sticking out here. And they've got the Ten of Wands in the reverse position, which is the Ten of Inspiration. So let me tell you something. They're also wondering basically the same thing. You guys are mirroring each other. Um, they're wondering the same thing. They've got the Four of Cups energy. I want to tell you the exact meaning. Of the four of cups i don't want to like tell it to you i just want to tell you the exact meaning so that you can see why i'm saying that the four of cups energy obviously talks about um somebody giving you an, an emotional offer um when it's in the reverse position there's a doubt also attached to the four of cups like should i take the offer should i not in the reverse position i remember reading one day long ago when i first started learning tarot um many years ago don't ask me how many years otherwise you'll know how old i am but um i remember reading somebody said four of cups in the reverse position it's like when you think um your neighbor's garden has got more beautiful grass than yours and you're always admiring them and you go i want to go move into my neighbor's house and when you get to your neighbor's house you realize that the grass is actually just a fake grass <laughs> you know what i mean it's sprayed on or something funny it's one of those roll out grasses and then you go wow this was actually not what i thought it would be and then they got exactly the same vibe that you have got. But the one thing I can see is that they've got the Ten of Wands as well. Um, this can be negative and it can be positive. Because the Ten of Wands energy does mean that they stressed out about current things that are happening right now. They're feeling stressed out. They're feeling worried. But at the same time, they don't want it to remain in that place either. Because the Ten of Wands in the reverse position tell, says they want this stress and this anxiety and the worry and whatever problems that are kind of occurring here, they want it to go away. But now there's your problem. They want it to go away. What does that mean? Are they, they want the relationship to be fixed and you guys can turn this two of cups around which by the way the two of cups in the reverse position it's easy to turn around you see it's a, it's not like oh this cannot be solved whenever you see the two of cups in the reverse position it usually indicates things that can be sorted out so uh, the thing is as long as they're not going um i don't know i think i should walk away from this relationship because it's too stressful for me you see so let's go deeper let's go deeper in here and see Ooh. I don't know, though, since yesterday I've been dropping cards everywhere. So let's have a look and see what comes up here. And I can't understand this because I just had this card for Aries and I just shuffled this deck and that card just flew under the table. The relationship is not strong right now. Um, this is also the Leo energy as well. 
it's not as strong as it should be there is something here that is definitely bothering you guys and there is a doubt i'm just checking if you hear me moving around <laughs> if i didn't leave another card no um there is also a doubt here as well if um you guys are strong enough to be able to turn this two of cups around and is this relationship strong enough to survive kind of energy so let's have a look and this is in the relationship energy so it tells me there is definitely something wrong here what else is coming up here no no guys i'm worried you see now to get a tower card that's that's worrying you need to be very careful here because um with the ten of wands being here ten of wands energy you must know this is in their energy it always kind of indicates um the ending of a cycle and that's why i said it can be negative or positive because when somebody end, ends a cycle um they they want to re release things that they no longer serve them and move into a better place relieve the stress and then for this to come out i'm hoping that it's to fix this but when the tower card comes out like that it is a bit of a worry um they may be even having thoughts of walking away from this connection which is a big, yeah, a little bit of a problem there. So let's have a look and see. Let's see what Spirit Guide advises you here. Possibly, I'm just going to put this out there, both of you, because you both got that kind of energy. Both of you can be thinking the same thing. But then at the same time, you're both kind of mirroring each other. So you're very on par with each other. Both are thinking maybe we should walk away from each other. And it's like you're still mirroring each other. That tells me you're still in alignment with each other. Even though things may be going wrong. But if you're mirroring each other's energy, you're still in the same alignment with them. Which is a good thing. That's why the Two of Cups still shows up here. Um, that's what causes breakups. We vibrate energetically. So when we're vibrating at the same wavelength, think of it like a radio. Um, that that's what will attract us and we'll be able to join together on the same wavelength. But once our vibrations completely shift out of par with each other, it's going to be very hard to get the vibrations back together. It will always be like it ends up breaking up. But you guys have still got that connection. It's still there, you see. So let's have a look. Ooh, and a card fell again. Ooh, okay. It says be bold and make the first move. So somebody needs to make up here. Somebody needs to make up for something here. Um, and there's another energy as well. It literally says believe in the impossible. Yep. This is exactly what I was just saying. I still feel like you guys are not, you're not done. Um, I feel like there's still a lot more going on here. I don't feel like you guys are done with each other. Somebody has to, with the cardinal moon energy, somebody has to, and I'm saying this in a way, I want you to understand something, cardinal moon, it's this energy of quietness i always feel cardinal moon as being a quiet energy i don't feel like it's very bold and outspoken even though it says be bold and make the first move i feel like when they mean be bold i feel like they mean just to make the first move it's going to be the move the bold move but the the interaction that you have with them at that time needs to be very calm and very quiet and very silent because there's always this energy after full moon you know that there's a silence almost like a silent energy that's dropping and this is how i feel it to be like it needs to be very calm but the boldness you need to have is to be the one that says we need to sit and talk there's your thing and sometimes it's boldness within us that needs to happen because we don't sometimes want to to hear something wrong or we don't want to press the issue but if we don't press the issue as well and try to find out what's going on it can lead to something in the future and it does say here believe in the impossible blue moon and let me tell you something there needs to be a discussion here between you and your person and um, to voice yourself and to kind of like hear what they've got to say but i believe that open discussion is going to be what fixes this relationship or puts it on a path to coming right there we go taurus thank you so much for coming in if this is uh, something that you resonate with please hit that thumbs up button even subscribe and hit the notification bell because it's going to be able to allow you to get tomorrow's readings again but thanks for coming in guys Bye.